Hey everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a couple of quick cards using the September stamp of the month called Enjoy These Moments. You can get this stamp set for $5 with any $50 purchase during the month of September or for free if you're a VIP with a $50 purchase. Okay, so this stamp set has lots of fall and autumn uh, icons and sentiments and uh, a lot of great things for scrapbook pages and cards. So I'm going to use this large heart for my cards today and I've loaded it into my Misty. So I'm going to stamp it out in black ink on white daisy and then I'll be coloring it in with tri-blend markers. So I'm going to show you how to uh, use this stamp using the tri-blends and then um, an easier and quicker way to use the stamp set later on. So stay tuned. Okay. So I've stamped it out on white daisy and then off camera, I will color all of these images in using the tri-blends. So it's just straightforward coloring. There isn't really, they're too tiny to do a lot of uh, shading and blending. So it's basically just coloring in all of these little images. Okay. So I uh, started out with this white daisy piece cut at three and three quarters inches square. And now I'm just centering my heart image and trimming it down to three and a half inches square. Okay. So I've got papers from uh, Chris Bear and then the coordinating cardstock. So I'm just kind of laying things out and deciding how I want to layer up my different uh, colors of cardstock. So I'm going to use paprika under my heart image. And then my base is going to be this piece of crisp air. It looks like uh, watercolor splatters in all the different colors in the collection on White Daisy. So I've got that cut at four by five and a quarter. And then my card base is going to be uh, uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. And that is in pine. And then I decided to add another layer of sapphire under the um, paprika. So I'm cutting that at three and seven eighths inch square. So I have a double mat there. Okay. And then for my sentiment, I've got the one that says autumn blessings, and I'm going to stamp direct to my patterned paper here in black ink. So I flip my Versa mat over for stamping on the soft side and just inking that up in black and we'll stamp that down. Okay. And then it's just basic assembly and layering. Going to keep these cards pretty clean and simple. Got enough going on with that uh, stamped image with the heart and all the different leaves and acorns and other fall images. We'll layer everything together using Tombow Air Touch. And then I'll pop the panel using some craft foam. Okay, so we have all those layered up. And then I have some thin craft foam and I'm just going to glue that down. Pretty simple. The time element with this particular card is coloring in all those images with your tribe lens, but I love the result. So bright and pretty and all those beautiful fall colors. Okay. So there's that finished card and we'll have some close up shots here. And you can always take it a step further and add some shimmer brush and uh, bling to your card front. But I thought this was, I liked it the way it is. Okay, let's make another one. Now this is a quick card using that same stamp. Sometimes you look at those images and you think, no, I don't want to take the time to color them in. So this is a kind of a shortcut to be able to use that stamp. So I'm going to emboss this with gold embossing powder. So I've got my uh, Versamark ink. And I'll just ink that stamp up and stamp it out on White Daisy. And then I'll sprinkle gold embossing powder on this. And this is Nouveau Gold Enchantment. It's nice and sparkly and it's good for fine images, detailed images like this one. Get that cleaned up and then I'll heat it up with my heat tool and melt that embossing powder. 
We'll speed this up and get it all melted here. And we're good to go. Okay, so a shortcut to add color is to just use a blending brush and blend some color on top of this embossed image. Okay, so I'm using Sundance. I'll get a light wash of color down and then I'll go in with paprika. I'm tapping it off on the inside of my stamp pad there just so that I don't have a real intense concentration of color. I just want a soft blend. And then I'll go back over the whole thing with Sundance. And there you have it. Quick way to add color. And then I'm just gonna buff it off and, and take off that ink that wound up on the gold there. And I'll trim this down to three and a half inches square, just like I did the other one. And then I'll layer this up. The design will be similar, but I'm gonna layer it up a little bit differently. So I'm just trying out which colors I like. So I'm going to layer the heart on pine. So I'm gonna cut that at three and three quarters inches square and then my base is going to be paprika so i'm going to cut that at four and a quarter by five and a half and then i'm going to use this pattern paper first i'm going to use the zip strip okay so i'm going to trim that off and then cut it down to four and a quarter inches and then i'm going to use this pattern paper for my stamping. So I'm just figuring out how big my stamped image is first. I'll trim off a bit and then I'm going to stamp Autumn Blessings on this and then I'll trim that down. So I'm going to use pine ink to stamp my sentiment. And then I'll trim that down. Make sure it's straight there and then just trim around the sentiment, not any particular size. Just trimming it till I think it looks good and then we'll layer everything together again with Tombow Ear Touch. So this is a good card for sending through the mail because there's not a lot of bulk and bumpiness to it. It's still pretty. Okay, there's my finished card. So all these supplies are currently available in my online store. I'll make a list with links in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And then you'll be able to find all of my videos. And thanks for watching.